All right, we are um, doing digestive system anatomy on the mid-sagittal head model, and um, we have some supplemental models for some of the structures that can't be seen on this list. But first of all, this whole cavity is your oral cavity. This. I'll come in here again, here, and I guess we can go here. We call them lips, but now we call them labia. Um, coming in from the labia is this area that's referred to as the vestibule. And then in your mouth you have those strings attaching your lips to your gums. We're going to say that they're represented here. You have upper and lower. Um, and those are um, the superior and inferior labial frenula. We have a structure here sitting it's a basement to our teeth. We call them gums, and now we're calling them gingiva. Like gingivitis. Like gingivitis. All right, this big fatty, believe it or not, that's the tongue. All right, um, here this should be review hard palate, soft palate. Uvula. All right, salivary glands. We gotta spin them around. Oh, sorry, buddy. This here. That's the um, parotid gland. P A R O T I D. Um, you can see them on this guy here too. Then you have not viewable on this model, and apparently only on this model. So. We get oriented. Here. That's your submandibular glands. Um, glands, I'm assuming because they're paired, although we don't have it on the other side. And then, I think it's only viewable on this model here, or possibly just best viewable on this model. Those are the sublingual glands. Um, I don't want to go out on a limb and say they're anywhere else, so we're just going to leave it at that. Um, and then, again, some review from Unit 2. We've got pharynx, nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx, esophagus. There is also an esophageal sphincter. Um, it's a barrier between the esophagus and the pharynx. Um, it's also called the cricopharyngeal muscle. It sits behind the cricoid. I can't really tell you that we're seeing it anywhere. So, so stay tuned. If I find it, I'll edit the video and let you know where it is. That's it.